I'm Craig Kenneth, a relationship coach and a psychotherapist. Every relationship is different and every breakup is different. Work with me and you'll get professional help on your situation. Just click on the link in the description below or go to my website, AskCraig.net. Hi there, I'm Coach Craig Kenneth and in this video I'm going to be talking to you about on the right path. Well, if you're going through a breakup and you're starting to look at yourself, look at your relationships, and feel a lot of guilt, it's normal. You're probably saying to yourself, if I had only done this differently, if I had only changed that, I wish I could go back in time, and you're bargaining with yourself. Unfortunately, that's not how life works where we can go back in time and correct things. All we could do is move forward. And moving forward doesn't always mean it's perfect. We're gonna trip, we're gonna fall, and we're gonna make the same mistakes. It's about trying to look at what you've done wrong and improve it the next time around. So. That's why I'm focused on so much more than just trying to get an ex back. Because if you don't make long-lasting changes in yourself and in your ability to relate with somebody, you're going to wind up losing the person again. You're going to find yourself making the same mistakes over and over again and you'll just wind up losing the person for good. And so... A lot of times breakups are a wake-up call and you start to see wow I cannot even believe I did this before I cannot believe how selfish I was I can't believe how my anxiety has completely run my life or I can't even believe that the way my childhood was has such a huge impact on my ability to have a relationship it's really eye-opening and even if you stumble and fall and make mistakes, you pick yourself up and you keep moving forward. You keep on that path to bettering yourself. And that's why I'm here. And that's why I put out so much content. Because I know every single day you guys struggle, especially right out of a breakup, where you're just wanting to go back to those old ways. And everything inside you is telling you, call them, text them do the grand gestures, send them flowers, propose to them. I know, because I've been there, and I've experienced that pain that you're going through. It's the worst. It is the worst pain in the world. But use that to better yourself. That's what I've done over the years, is I've taken all of that pain, and I've used it to be who I am today. Now, of course, a lot of my character is who I am, and who you see in the videos, but I was able to change my internal fortitude. Now that I see the patterns, I share them with you guys so you can see, oh my gosh, I made that same mistake. Look, if you make it again, it's most likely you know going to happen at some point. But awareness is key. And the harder you work on yourself, the better off you're going to be in the long run. If you only work on yourself for three months, how much of that is going to be long lasting? Unfortunately, not very much. It'd be like going to the gym for three months and then never going back again. How long do you think you're going to have all that, those muscles that you toned and everything and built up? They're going to be gone after a while, right? And you're going to go back to your old ways and maybe not eating as healthy or whatever. So you want to stay on the path and move forward always. It's always about growing and learning. And that is why I always... I'm trying to teach you new little things. I bring Margaret in here to teach you deep things that even a lot of good therapists don't understand. It's not only about her experience of 35 plus years. I mean, it's what Margaret has done with that experience over the last 30 plus years. She had that burning desire to learn about things and to grow and to be the best clinician she could be. And obviously, I have that same desire too, which is a part of the reason that we mesh so well is because I'm always asking her a million questions and I've done that for years, sitting there trying to figure things out, understanding 
human nature, why we do the things that we do, and, and teaching those things to you guys. So when I'm coaching you guys and we're talking through things, you're having these incredible aha moments. And today I've got a really great success story for you guys. And this guy has only been watching my video for like two weeks and his life is completely changed. So I'm going to share this email with you guys because I know you love success stories and I love getting them from you guys. So when you start to have success in your own life, share them with me, you know, because I want to share them with everybody because we are going through tough times in these breakups and it's good to hear some positivity. That's why I don't like any negativity on the channel. I don't like any people insulting each other or anything negative you're going to get blocked. If you haven't noticed, if you see anybody posting any negative, they just get blocked immediately because I don't tolerate it. You want to do that somewhere else? Feel free. But here, we're struggling enough. We're trying to uplift each other, build each other up. I'm not going to tolerate any kind of negativity on the channel. So encourage each other, help each other, share with each other. That's what we're here for. We don't need any negativity here. It's so let me get into this guy's email because it was really good and it's amazing. I can tear a little bit as I'm sharing his email with you, okay? So he says, hey coach, hope this finds you well. I first came across your work about 10 days ago. I had taken refuge in a friend's spare room to get away from the situation, trying uncontrollably to console myself unable to see how someone could have been so cruel. To set the scene, I had been with a girl for over a year and grown attached to her and her young son. Unfortunately, it was a roller coaster of emotion and I felt like I was always in a storm with her. Okay, so think about that for a second. He's always in a storm with her. Why? Because she's always in a storm, emotionally inside of her she's going through a storm i asked for space and literally days after professing her undying love for me and watching her son together at his school nativity i had a call from her saying she had kissed another man you can only imagine what that would do your heart would drop, right? You would just be devastated instantly. I went to her house to confront her about it, and she told me they slept in the same bed. Of course, my anxiety went through the roof, and you could imagine he was probably pretty pissed too. Then I realized the reason she wanted to get rid of me was because this other man was coming around to take her out that afternoon. So look at this woman. She goes and kisses another guy. She doesn't care about how he feels. She doesn't care how this has affected her. She's extremely selfish and self-absorbed. Now, for those of you that have been watching my channel for a while, you would know it's probably because she has a lot of anxiety. Because when we have that anxiety, we go into like a survival mode where all we care about is soothing our anxiety. Because soothing your anxiety means taking yourself out of danger. Think about it. If you're anxious, it's because we feel like there's danger. So if you soothe that anxiety, then the danger must be gone, right? She told me it was over and to get out. The next week, she made it clear that she was spending every moment with this guy. Right? So look at this. She doesn't even care what she's done to him at all. Why? Because she is anxious and being selfish. So, hopefully you can really understand how my world was torn inside out. I lost my family to another man two weeks before Christmas and was buying them presents the night she was sleeping in the bed with someone else. I think a lot of us could probably watch this video and get pretty mad, right? Because I know I would be mad if somebody did that to me. Then, I found you. Your videos were like looking up at the sun from within a dark 
lonely hole. I decided I had to get away and told her I was leaving town for a while. From that moment on, I listened to your videos every moment of the day till my battery ran flat and I was glued to the wall charger. <laughs> well, sounds like you found something you really liked. Though I had recently left my job, nothing motivates you like desperation and I knew I had to spend what little I had to speak with you. The ex was constantly barraging me with calls and texts about where I had gone and I grew more desperate. Boy, I think a lot of us can relate with that, right? I know I've been there. I bought email coaching, a Skype, and then an emergency Skype all within 24 hours. When I sat with you for that one hour alone in a hotel room, I was a quiet, broken man. You listened to me and you told me the truth of my situation. Slowly, the veil was being removed from my eyes and I was starting to understand what none of my friends could have told me about the situation. You had exactly why she had been doing the things she had. You told me exactly what I had to do if I want to get her back and you didn't judge me for it. I went from a position of hopelessness to empowerment simply because you enlightened me on why all this has been happening. When you said to me she's like a lost child, desperate and crying because of an early trauma and she'd do anything to soothe herself, it was like lightning struck me. Finally, in four days, I could eat. I think a lot of us can relate to that, not wanting to eat and just having zero appetite. I remember that. I listened to every video you suggested and each one fascinated me. I even found myself laughing. It was like I had taken the red pill, like in the Matrix, and now I saw a new fascinating world where all the seemingly chaotic behavior was making sense. I did all you told me to do, and I had a fantastic Christmas without my ex and her son. She then told me it was over with the other man. She loved only me and wanted me forever. This other man had also kissed someone else at a club. I now have all I desired in those lonely nights after the breakup, but the thing is, now you show me the truth, do I want that anymore? I've come to see that I've been reliving my childhood and these chaotic exes are similar to my mother's behavior when I was a child. In fact, my mother lost her mother when she was just five and two of my ex-girlfriends had also lost their mothers. That's the aha moments that sometimes blow us away. Think about that for a second. I remember when I figured that out for him, he was, his jaw dropped. He was like, oh my God, I never thought about that before. Think about this. His mother lost her mother when she was little. So, what do I say? We're attracted to the familiar. Now, look at what happened. Who is he dating? Women that have also lost their mother. So what do you think? Of course they're going to have similarities in their behavior because they had similar traumas. Amazing, isn't it? It really is amazing. So if that's not more than coincidence, I don't know what is. I've been connecting so many dots at an alarming rate I'm analyzing my friends, their relationships, and it's truly eye-opening. You are my coach and mentor, and by the time I spoke with you for the second time, just over a week later, I was a new man. I even found myself skipping through the grocery store, singing Christmas songs to myself. I have a lot to learn, and being aware is the first step. 
Now, I understand why I find it so hard to let go of my exes and why I always try to help and protect them. I'm seeing it's not just me and I'm not cursed. There is a pattern and I've learned so much. Now, at least I am able to see the warnings for what they are and make wiser choices for the future. I wish your family every happiness and thank you from the bottom of my heart for the freedom and empowerment you have given me. Everyone needs an ace in their pocket, and you've become mine. May we speak again soon under better circumstances. Well, this has been incredible for this guy. In less than two weeks, he was able to completely turn his life around. And imagine feeling absolutely devastated to singing Christmas songs and, and, and happy and joyful when he was dying inside. And I know some of you guys are frustrated thinking, I wish that was me. I don't blame you. Everybody's journey is different. And we did a lot of work in a short amount of time. The email coaching, then we did an emergency Skype, then we did a Skype follow-up all in like a week. And absolutely amazing how much he's done to better himself, to get himself on the right journey. And I could tell you, she wants him back now. Like, she is trying to get him back, and he's like, I don't know if I want to do this anymore. I love her, but I think I need to do what's best for me. And that's the best place to be, where you are making the decision for the right reasons. Whether you're going to take this person back, or decide to move on, this guy is feeling amazing inside and his decisions that are going to come forth from this will be from a place of empowerment and understanding, education, talking things through with me. I'm sure we'll do another Skype soon and he's going to continue to grow as a person and better himself and put himself in the best position to have an amazing life because he can have this woman back. Whether he wants her back or not is his decision at this point. And of course, she has a decision in this too, but she wants it. She wants that relationship. And now he's going to think about what's best for him and if this relationship with her is best for him. Because he's not sure. He does love her, but he's starting to see all this behavior and look at closely what she did to him and whether or not he wants to take her back. Best place to be. So, if you want to get my help personally, just go to my website, AskCraig.net, sign up for the coaching option that works best for you. I do email coaching. I do Skype coaching. But if you want to get with me right away, just sign up for the emergency Skype coaching. That's it for this video. I'm Coach Craig Kenneth, and I will talk with you soon.